Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct. Making sure the microphone's working here. Make certain everybody can hear me at this point. Thank you very much. And thanks for joining us on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Just got done with that a few minutes ago. And keeping an eye on what the forecast is doing throughout the rest of the weekend. So thanks a lot for everybody for tuning in on an early Saturday morning. Mostly gray skies across much of the area so far. We're just not getting too much in the way of major amounts of problems where it comes to travel or anything else across much of the area. We do see, again, the potential for some more rain later. Later on today and also the possibility of some more thunderstorms tonight not looking at severe weather so good news on that we'll talk about that in detail coming up here in just a little bit if you're in the mid-south area and tuning in as a regular thank you very much for that definitely want to make certain that you drop your location and if you have any weather reports we'd love to see those temperatures rainfall amounts from last night we did get some not much rainfall so if you'd like to share some rainfall reports with us wind direction wind speed let's see some amateur meteorology going on out there for this morning and just give us an idea as to what it looks like and we'll read those reports as we get them through the comments section for this morning. If you'd like to check out the forecast and you don't have st time to stand around and listen to me talk about all this, drop down to the lower portion of your screen. The blue bar down there shows again the forecast and it's available here on the seven-day forecast which is available all here at wreg.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, Complaints, if you absolutely must, send them here to austin.onic at wreg.com, and we'll do what we can to pass those along to help you see a little bit more about what's going on out there. Fort Worth, Texas, from outside the Mid-South, Connie Turner, welcome to the show, and good morning to everybody else who's waving and giving thumbs, thumbs up out there for right now across the area. Chances of rain, we're going to keep them in the forecast for right now, but... Doesn't look like a huge amount for the time being. Rest of the day, chances of showers. We're not getting too much in the way of anything involving showers for right now. A few sprinkles left over. We'll take a look at radar in just a second or two. Some very mild numbers out there. These southwesterly winds are going to keep the temperatures up today into the upper 60s to lower 70s. So very much on the breezy side from time to time. Not enough for a wind advisory, but it will be, again, a little choppy out there. If you're driving east or west, those winds pushing against your vehicle, could make things a little choppy. And remember, if it's raining during the daytime and your windshield wipers are operating, your headlights must be on. That's state law. So remember, let's be careful out there. Rest of the day into this evening, possibility of some more showers, maybe some more thunderstorms mixed in with this into the evening hours. But so far, we're not looking at anything in the way of a severe weather threat. So that's good news for the time being. Taking a look around the area for right now, Oxford, Mississippi, a few speckles of rain on the camera from the Ole Miss campus. Ventress Hall looking back toward the student union through the trees and and back toward the Grove area for this morning. Lots of clouds and a few sprinkles of rainfall, but that's about all that we have to talk about at this point in time. Rest of the area, again, through the rest of the day, we'll be looking at more clouds than anything else. If you're traveling by air, a little windy at Memphis International Airport, tower and terminal back there, mostly cloudy skies, fairly breezy out there, gusty winds over 20 miles per hour, no delays to report this morning, so that's good news. Likewise, across the continental United States, major and connecting airports showing minimal delays, and that trend expected to hold steady at this time, not seeing too much in the way of winter weather. If you're heading up towards, say, uh, Indianapolis, toward about Minneapolis, Detroit, Chicago, you may see some delays there later on because of a, our late season, early spring season, I guess, winter storm making its way on through, and that's going to be maybe causing some delays out in that area. Windy and Olive Branch, Janie McCarroll, thank you very much uh, for that one. Sunny and 85 in Alamo, Tennessee from Jimmy Riley. Might want to stand a little farther away from the thermometer, but thank you very much, Mr. Riley, uh, for that report right there. Gillette, Wyoming. Wow. Darren Guymond. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Winter storm here in Wyoming, 5 to 8 inches. Uh, say hello to my friend Ryan McCammon, who's a meteorologist with the state of Wyoming out that direction. He's a real nice guy, a fellow KU graduate uh, out into and around that area for right now. Ruth Zierley from the state of Iowa, snowing here. Burr, stay safe and secure, and keeping that snow up that direction. Thank you very much for a report from the uh, area up around that location here. South Memphis, Pine Hill, no snow. Douglas Clark, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Grady Bennett, good morning. Cloudy, 61.3 from the Simon Eyes Car Wash in Bartlett. Okay, wow, de definitely an on-the-spot report there. Thank you, Mr. Bennett, for that. From the Baptist DeSoto camera, traffic moving along pretty well. According to TDOT, if I'm reading this relatively uh, correctly, there's been a crash around Shelby Drive, 
uh, at this point in time, just above State Line Road, so just north of here. You may be seeing some slowdowns taking place for this morning, but otherwise not bad. Little bit of some showers trying to get going around northeastern Shelby County, Galloway, Millington back toward Arlington. You may pick up a few light sprinkles, but that's really about all that we have for right now. And then chances of showers, really just not that much up there. A few light areas of showers trying to go through around Ripley, but that's about it. Heaviest showers right now are mainly back to the south of I-22 and dwindling as they drop to the east-southeast. This is what is left over from those showers that we saw across the area from this morning, so there's just really not that much left at this time. Now back to the north, this is where we're seeing the possible problem with snow from western North Carolina, eastern Kentucky, all the way back up through the Dakotas. This late winter storm is making its way through the Midwest, and this could cause some slowdowns up this direction. But as you'll notice, this is not much of anything to do with the Mid-South. A few more showers into around the area of western Kentucky, uh, Paducah, back into the area close to the Ohio River. That's about the heaviest amount of rain showers into and around uh, most of the Mid-South this time. Douglas Clark, no rain is what I said. I respect that, but I can't listen to that, unfortunately, because I have to tell you about rainfall. So thank you very much for the contribution. We're just not going to have to be able to do uh, anything like that for right now. Currently in the Mid-South, again, temperatures on the mild side. These are some of the coolest numbers at about 917 early on Saturday morning from our WeatherNet sites. Upper 50s around Old Miss at Oxford, lower 60s elsewhere. If you'd like to get this information on your computer, you can do so. Again, that's from the Weatherbug Network, and all you have to do is go to this website and find out more by clicking the Weatherbug icon. You can get all the sites out there and all the other sites that are featured as well, whatever's nearby. All right, let's run the numbers into the rest of the day. Green indicates the possibility of rain showers where you see darker green. That's heavier potential of rain, and the moving lines on screen showing the winds out of the southwest and pretty breezy right on in through this afternoon and into this evening. So we're not going to see a washout, but there will be chances of rain anywhere across the Mid-South throughout the course of the rest of the day. So not going to be seeing too much in the way of clear skies anytime soon. So that is not really looking all that good. Now into tonight, showers, could be some rumbles of thunder right through here kind of a darker line showing up. That is our next cold front. That's going to be making its way through as we go into this evening around News Channel 3 at 10. So we could see some thunderstorms as that cold front makes its way through the area. Notice the winds also ahead of that front out of the southwest, behind that front moving in from the northwest. So we'll see a shift in the winds and then tomorrow we'll be getting into some cooler weather as we go toward daybreak and just afterwards. So lower 40s for early Palm Sunday. For any outdoor celebration services, uh, again, for tomorrow, for Palm Sunday, we may see some pretty chilly numbers, so a jacket or a coat may be a potential thing out there. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in, saying hello across the Mid-South, and appreciate the reports out there for this morning and into the rest of the day. Through tomorrow afternoon, temperatures, again, will rise to about normal, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. We're not seeing anything in the way of rain returning to the Mid-South until we get into Sunday evening. Then showers start to push on through as we head into very early Monday morning. Morning, and right about the time you head back to work or school, we could be looking at some cool conditions, some breezy winds out of the southeast, and the possibility of rain, maybe even some thunderstorms. So maybe some extra time to plan for on your commute back to work or school would be a good idea. Now, excuse me, through about midweek, we're going to see some showers. That's possible. Not looking at a lot of activity just yet, but as we go through about midweek, that's where we really start to pick up more chances of rainfall, and we're talking about a serious amount coming on through here. Some areas of the Mid-South looks like they're going to be easily over four inches of rainfall by the time we finish up the week and head into Good Friday, and then we see some areas picking up close to seven inches of rainfall. We're talking about the possibility, maybe not of flash flooding, but a good, steady Heavy amount of rainfall could lead to the potential of some flooding situations out there. The Mississippi River is on its way downwards, but with heavy rainfall going on north of us and into the Mid-South area over the next several days, that's where we could see, again, the potential of some more problems into the area with regards to flooding situations. And I'm very much expecting the rivers and creeks across the area to be rising once again. So we had some flooding concerns over the last couple of weeks. We caught a bit of a break, and now we're going back toward that flooding situation as we head toward later on this week. So 
for right now, things are quiet, but later on, you definitely want to stay tuned to the weather experts as we keep you updated into what's going on for the rest of the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the day today. Not much rainfall expected. We'll have a lot more coming up later on again for tonight on various amounts of social media, including my Facebook page and Twitter page as well. We'll find out more about that again uh, if you visit us at wrhg.com slash weather. All right, for the rest of the day today, showers for the most part, and again, some thunderstorms possible here and there into tonight, but that's going to be about it. Very mild today, temperatures in the lower 70s, lower 60s, a little cooler tomorrow. Most of the day should be rain-free, but then we see those showers and thunderstorm chances late Sunday night sticking around for Monday, so most of Palm Sunday looks pretty good. Monday, more showers and thunderstorms coming on through. Then our skies clear by just a little bit, but there are still going to be some scattered showers around as we head through Tuesday. Now, as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, this is going to be our next possibility of showers and thunderstorms with heavier rainfall. Doesn't look like severe weather right now, but we still need to watch this very carefully. Here's the really good news for, again, heading into the Easter holiday weekend. Good Friday, some showers before dawn, but then clearing out for Saturday and Sunday. Easter Sunday looks pretty good. Now, outdoor sunrise services, I've already gotten some emails and some phone calls from churches who want to know what it's looking like out there to see if they can uh, hold outdoor sunrise services about the time, again, that sun is coming up across the area. Right now, it looks pretty good, but it is going to be very chilly early Sunday morning, so definitely want to prepare for that if you've got some outdoor services heading on through. Rest of Easter Sunday looks great. For now, temperatures back in the lower 70s, so looking again at some very mild conditions and heading through again Monday next, temperatures back in the mid-70s, so very calm, very pleasant after we get the rainfall through here, but keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Thanking Arkansas SEC 73 taunting us with a very nice view of some blue skies and sunshine while he takes spring break somewhere out along the coastline. So thank you very much for that blue sky. At least somebody's getting some sunshine out there. Chuck Wicker from around Oxford, Mississippi. Nice sunrise from earlier this week. Beautiful colors out there. Thank you very much for that one. And frequent contributor here on News Channel 3, James R. Gulledge. Nice view from in and around Humboldt, Tennessee of some of the foliage out that direction. So looking very nice and definitely very spring-like across much of the area there. So thank you, Mr. Gulledge, for that. If you've got pictures, we want to feature them, but we can't do so unless you send them along. So if you could contribute them, that'd be great. Aonic underscore WRAG3 on Twitter, Facebook at Austinonic WRAG, and Aonic no underscore WRAG3 on Instagram if you'd like to participate in that. Coming up on my Facebook page later on today, tonight is Earth Hour. What does that mean? It means it's an opportunity for you to learn and practice more about what goes on with energy conservation. And all you have to do is just turn off the lights that you're not using for at least an hour, and maybe that habit will stick. We have a bad habit of leaving the lights on in rooms, especially our kids. I know that happens a lot at House Onic, to where we see, again, the opportunity to turn the lights and the appliances off that we are not using, and that can have a big impact on your utility bill and your bank account. So think about that. We'll be having more about this tonight at 8.30, so join us for more on that coming up on News Channel 3 and on our Facebook pages as well. Tiangong-1, the first Chinese space station, is abandoned and is expected to crash to Earth somewhere in the next few weeks. It's getting lower and lower toward Earth's atmosphere, and as it encounters more molecules of air, it's going to drag on the spacecraft, and eventually it's going to be too much, and it's going to crash back to Earth. It's going to be somewhere between 43 degrees north and 43 degrees south. That does include the Mid-South area, but how much of a chance do we actually stand of getting hit by debris? Not as much as you think. It's actually a pretty big uh, number out there, a very small chance, in other words, of us getting hit by that. So we'll have more about that in the next couple of weeks as well. And Black Girls Code in Memphis is holding their Internet of Things parent-daughter circuits workshop that'll be going on today starts in about uh, half an hour or so. And if you'd like to know more about some of the groups that are helping kids learn more about coding, Future is definitely all about coding and learning more about computers. So if you'd like to know more about this, all you have to do is visit my Facebook page at facebook.com slash austinonicwreg3. Again, 11 hours less until Earth Hour tonight. 
Again, it's a great opportunity to learn more about conservation and about the fact that we do not have a planet B to go to. So if you'd like to learn more about what this is, it's already happening all around the world. It just happened in Japan, moving toward India as the lights go out, keeping an eye on power usage and renewable energy and all kinds of things like that. So find out more about Earth Hour coming up later on. And of course, we'll have more about that throughout the rest of the weekend on our video blogs and at WREG.com as well. Stay tuned for more coming up later on today. Of course, basketball happening on the main channel. So we'll have updates on our Anytime channel, 3.2 on cable, 3.2 digital channel, and then also on our website. You can watch live on there as well. And of course, we'll have more on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. Todd Demers will be here tomorrow morning to lead you through daybreak, and I'll be back on Sunday night as well. So stay tuned for more there. Thanks to everybody for checking in. And again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend for updates on weather, news, and sports.